Okay, so uh, we are in closed loop, uh, but still the lambda sensor it's at 1.5 volts. This is far away from what we are ex expected to see. Uh, so now I'm going to sh uh, show you how to check the wiring of the sensor. And if all the wiring is okay, the only thing that is left uh, to be fault is the sensor. Okay, so this is the uh, multiple for the one the sun, the one, one, one the prop itself, the sensor, and this is the multiple from the echo side, from the computer side. So for testing the wiring, first of all, uh, you can test the heater of the one the. Uh, this two uh, conductors, I think was, uh, with multimeter, uh, you can hook up the props here and with the multimeter set on, on, on scale, uh, you should test them, the specification is maximum 200 tons, I think this is far much but most of the time you will probably get 10 ohms for the heater uh, so after that uh, uh, for testing the multiple on the computer side again this is for the heater you must put on ignition and the expected expected voltage for the heater should be around uh, 4.5 volts so to be okay and for the one day itself it should be around 1.2 1.4 volts louder this louder please quarter quarter <laughs> this this is the expected voltage for the sensor and this is for the uh, heater both of them should be on the when the ignition is on. Uh, so uh, after uh, putting ignition back on uh, on off position, they uh, should uh, stay for a couple of seconds and then sh they should go to zero volts. And now I'm going to show you on the car. I am showing on the uh, here because on the car it's hard to show you what I'm doing uh, down there. The port is uh, really behind and there is no place. So this is the place of the multipoke. Just behind the engine. R right here. And I'm going to uh, disconnect it and uh, show you the measurement that you need to do. So I am poked the poke and now I'm going to test for Continuity between this pin and this pin, these two pins, and see what uh, resistance I'm getting. Okay, so uh, the resistance in, is in specification. So now I'm going to check the uh, voltage on the wiring from the computer side. So for checking the supply voltage to the heater, I'm going to uh, see the voltage on these two pins, this, this one and this one. And for the voltage on the lambda sensor, it's this one and this one. Okay, I will start with uh, this two. I, I expect something around 4.5 volts. Okay, so zero volts. But now ignition. Okay, so we have 4.4 volts uh, on the heater side. Okay, so now we are going to check the lambda sensor 
Uh, it should be something around 1.2, 1.4 volts. And okay, it's uh, ignition. Uh, 1.36, so it's in, it's in perfect shape. Okay, so the only thing that it left is the sensor itself. So this is how to diagnose a bad sensor. You check the wiring and if you see with vacuum something different from 0 0.1 and 0 0.9 volts, uh, this is the way to diagnose, diagnose it. Thanks for watching.